Hey there everyone, this is Chris from the Tech Basement. Today we are in the basement once again. We are moving closer and closer to getting that EK series uh, set up all taken care of. So what happened this week was that my components that I need, which we're gonna go through today, came in a little bit later than I expected. So I did not get around to uh, being able to do a water cooling, uh, GPU block video for this week but we'll do a little assembly uh, with the product that I brought in to finalize to be able to do the uh, graphics card and the water block with it so let's get into that the components that we had come in are the final components that we need to finalize this build in order to uh, get everything all working as they should or what is needed in order to meet the requirements of certain oh, aspects of the GPU. And one of those things was the power supply. Here I have the EVGA 1000 watt uh, G3 uh, Supernova power supply. I've been really happy with the EVGA uh, power supplies that I've had lately so I decided to go with this one and I got it at a really good price at uh, Newegg. I believe that the um, the sale is not anymore and I, I got it for about a hundred and twenty a hundred and fifty somewhere in there which was not bad seeing that these were going for at least a hundred and seventy five to two hundred dollars so let's dig into this real quick, like do a real quick unboxing here and then uh, install as well as there's another product. You may have seen me pick it up when I went to go grab this, but another product that we needed as well for the uh, rads and uh, have them work the way that I would like them to through the BIOS and their fan curve. So let's dive into this real quick. Uh, let's open it up, see what we get in it, and then do the install real quick. Like, so let's go and get it. Being a bugger. Yeah, I can't even open this and they let me play with knives. Scary, huh? Okay. There we go. Unwrapped. Now let's see what we have here. There we go. All right, whoa, okay. The way this opens up is like this. Packed very nicely as usual um, from all the different companies. I uh, Very, very well uh, protected. Power supply is right here. Have all your cable, well, at least your cable bag there. Your cable's underneath here and you do have good plenty of them. You get everything, all these cables, the fully modular uh, component here. That's why I got it. Uh, all the room that I need can be spared. And it's really nice and small, as you can see here. It's, it's about the size of your 800 and all those, maybe even a little smaller. Uh, this thing is going to work very well with my case. Uh, it has everything that I'm going to need. Three VGA uh, ports. Let's see. All the SATA ports you would want. Uh, let's see. It's, there's 
thousand watt power supply right here is something that is smaller than my hand matter of fact and lengthwise so that is very nice um, I did see a couple of reviews online and I kind of ignored them when I purchased that that this fan is pretty doggone loud uh, once you start uh, uh, using the wattage that it's that's available to it which is that uh, 1000 watts so we'll find out and see how that goes uh, like I said this is what you get in the box real quick unboxing no big deal uh, power supply is a power supply uh, it, it everything else that I heard online uh, stands up to wattage I'll give it to you you should be good to go on that aspect now if you're a a uh, sound snob like some of them sound like they were uh, this this might irritate you but I'm not gonna say it's going to until at least for from my point of view until I experience it which will be later on in most likely a different video this video is about the unboxing of uh, this getting it installed and showing you what comes in here which is just a buttload of cables so put those aside that right there who, who needs the stinking instructions right okay and then the second item here I needed to get some four pin extenders and I got these real cheaply real cheaply real cheap at Newegg for the most part oh I want to go with the brand that actually I trust. Uh, I saw a whole bunch of just not, non uh, really big brands or any, however you want to say it. it I, I trust Noctua. I've used their stuff in the past, so I got these for a fairly good price. Uh, they're they're going to be your standard pin, four pin uh, extenders. But we'll open them up real quick. Like if once again I can get pressed. Okay, that's strange. No tape there, but it's difficult as all get out to open. There we go. Like I said, really simple. Four pin extenders, one, two, three. Noctua. There you go. Nothing really too, too special. Comes in a nice little box. You know, nice little padding on the bottom. They're just thrown in there, no big deal. All right, so we're gonna need just one of those. Throw those back in there so I know what they are, where they are. Throw them off to the side. All right, okay. So we got that to install as well. Alrighty everyone, success! Everything's all plugged in and ready to rock and roll. So we're going to jump into a few uh, temperatures here.
you have about 25 minutes, a little bit more maybe on Ada 64, maximum temps at 63 degrees and your low is at 24 idle. Now, with that being said, I'd like to know what you guys would like to see next. I do have the graphics card right here that I want to, that I'm going to put on water. But do you want to see what this thing does before I put it on water? In other words, on air with the bolt blower cooler or just go straight to the air. Also, I have a 3 uh 2 280 rad and would you like to see how that performs with just the CP, CPU cooler? Or do you want to just jump into the graphics um, water cooling with the G, CPU and just uh, put them in between or use the 280 and the 360 separately and compare it that way? But those are your options uh, from what I'm seeing. If you have any other ideas, put it down in the comment area. But uh, we are almost approaching the end of the series. So any comments, any ideas you give me, I will be more than happy to consider them. And hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button, that little bell. It does work now. And this is Chris saying, out.